Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Aries. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Aries placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen, all linked and listed. At the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you some more guidance for the week. Otherwise, we're jumping right in. Straight to the point here. Straight to the point. First card out this week is the Tower card, Major Arcana for Scorpio energy. We also have the Three of Swords, the Page of Cups. Pisces energy could be important to you as well. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Hmm. I don't know what is going on here in the past position. Something, something blew up. Something got found out. Could also be a realization. A major realization was had, although I don't think that's what it is. Um, the Queen of Pentacles in the Tower. Some of you might have lost a job or maybe you've had an explosion in orders. Hopefully that's the case because the Queen of Pentacles usually sits pretty. So business could be booming. That could be what that means. Hopefully that's what it means. Wishing that for all of you. Business could be booming. But I do get something might have ended here. Um... Okay, we have Major Arcana, the Lover's card, Gemini Energy, the Four of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords, some sort of communication coming in here. Lots of swords. Okay, some of you, business could definitely be booming. With the Ten of Pentacles here, definitely could be business is booming. That could just be a side message for some of you. You might not even see it coming because it's kind of behind her back. But it does look like something has ended here, especially with the Three of Swords next to it. Something has definitely ended. Something has been lost. Something has, is it's over. It's over. Okay, it's over. Or at least that's the perception because I don't think you're focused on that anymore. You're very much focused on yourself. I do see you coming in as these queen, this queen of pentacles. Very focused on self. Focus on your money. Focus on work, the kids, house, working out, drinking water. But something's over. You're no longer, you know, focused on it. You've switched your focus. But um, definitely a loss here. But with the lover's card, the page of cups and the four of swords, I do get <laughs> might not be completely over. Looks like somebody can't let go of you here, can't let go of the situation. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Justice card, Libra Energy, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Six of Pentacles here as well. So you might be over this, but someone's not over it. Whoever it is that you've been, that you over, over it with, they're not over it. I, to put it in layman terms, they ain't over it. Could be a Libra, could be a water sign. Cancer, Spicy, Scorpio, heavy emphasis on Pisces and Scorpio. Gemini energy here. They ain't over it. They ain't over it. Mm -mm. They, they're not done. They're very much still holding on to the situation. They might not be expressing it all too much right now, but they're very much not giving up on this. Knight of Cups. It's only a matter of time before there's some sort of communication or conversation. The Justice card in order to balance things. Yeah. They could be dealing with some sort of karmic issues or legal matters as well. But it does seem like they are planning to bring balance. They don't plan on giving up on this. They might be quiet now. Or might have been for a little period of time because with the Four of Swords here definitely speaks to a break. Like you're taking it as a loss, but it's like to someone else, it's really a break. And I don't think you know because it's very much happening behind this Queen of Pentacles back. Somebody definitely wants to balance things here and more confirmation that something has been walked away from, causing too much emotional baggage. Mm, Ace of Cups, renewal energy. The letter W or M could be important to you. Yeah, someone wants to walk back to this. That's what they want to walk back to. They want to renew something. They want to fix it by any means necessary. Whatever they got to do, they're, they're going to do it. You name your price. Because now we see progress here going from the three to the four to the five. They want to move it forward. They see things clearly. They understand the situation. Not that they've had time to introspect and think and reflect. They realized something was out of balance here with the Six of Pentacles and the Justice card. There was definitely not a balance here. So you took, you know, it, it, it ended. It could have been to a surprise to them that it ended. Because you coming up as a Queen of Pentacles, I don't feel like you're, you most likely were the one to end this. Or if you're dealing with someone, they're coming up as a Queen of Pentacles, very much focused on themselves. You might not have seen them ending things with you. However it plays out, you know your story. But here's the conversation. Here's the apology. After a period of thinking and someone is ex exercising their free will here with this lover's card, they're choosing to keep fighting. It's very much the vibe I'm getting. Obviously, the choice will be yours, what you do with it. Because the lover's card does speak to choice. You can choose. You can take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Up to you. Someone wants to present you with the Ace of Cups. 
Mm -hmm. They want a uh, solid. They want something solid. They want. Uh, they don't want a. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> there's the four, the six, and the ten. Progress. They're willing to do what it takes in order for this to work. They see. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. So you have the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. If there's any sort of truth that needs to be spoken, they're going to speak it. This is also a yes card. This is also a now card. So whatever they're saying to you is the truth. Yeah, if they tell you they see things differently and they understand, they mean it. That, that's the truth. They, they've definitely learned the lesson. Justice card here. They've, they've learned the lesson. And they do mean what they say. So, and the Wheel of Fortune here, yeah, and the Page of Pentacles. There is an opportunity here. Whether you want to take it or not, that's your decision. Whatever way you want to flex, you choose. Eight of Swords, I don't know. It's going to be very hard for you. <laughs> yeah, this person showing up as, your, as, as, as being on your level now. Yeah, but it will be hard for you. It will be hard for you. Because you don't trust them all after the first time, right? Um, okay, this is a romantic situation for you, Aries. Guidance. Yeah, this is a big thing. I think you this this change, if you walked away, very much hit this person. Playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. So this is like lightheartedness. Don't be so serious. It's not as serious as you think it is. And they are speaking the truth. You know, whatever they're saying to you, they are being genuine. They are speaking the truth. That Ace of Swords says, yeah, they say they, they understand and they see and they do they want to do better. They mean that. They mean that ish. What other? One more card, please. Okay. Give your relationship a chance. Okay. There we go. Work on your partnership. Because they are showing up as your true pair. If they weren't before, they are now and flirt. I don't know. I think you still want this person, Loki. <laughs> Between me and you. For those of you that resonate, you still want this person. You're just in your feelings right now. The both of you read your feelings. The Four of Swords just means take some time, chill, recoup, think about things, clear your head. Because whatever happened here, yeah, could have been a brass decision too with the tower. Definitely could have been a, a, an impulsive decision because that Knight of Swords is also very impulsive energy. Someone could have made an impulsive decision to sort of walk away, leave it alone. And it created a loss, I think, for both people. Because we, the Three of Swords is coming in here with the with the Lover's card. So the Three of Swords is for both people. The both of you feel this loss. And you also have two Fours here. Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords. So there is an energy of protection here. This person could be protective of their connection with you. Okay, pregnancy. Ooh, someone is expecting. Mm -mm. Intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. Okay, that could definitely be the Ten of Pentacles too. And commitment. Ooh. Oh, wow. Things are getting serious. I mean, you did have the Queen and Queen of Pentacles here and the Ten of Pentacles and the Justice card. There definitely could be wedding bells for some of you and a pregnancy and guardian angel, a lost lover, a lost loved one watches you. What did I say a lost lover? Okay. But intimacy, pregnant, commitment. Things are getting serious. Someone is expecting sexual chemistry. All right, emotions are running high. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't. Do, I don't think it's you, unless you know someone broke up with you and didn't expect that ish. You're gonna fight for it either way, but it, it does say they they're still interested. Unless this person has actually told you they do not want you, probably not your person. But if you guys are just arguing with somebody, you got upset and kind of been like, "Don't talk to me," then you know it's fixable. And we have here, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Yeah. <clears throat> and the warrior at the bottom of the deck. That's the queen of swords for me. And I think I saw the queen of swords in the in the pile too. Have you answered your deepest calling? So someone's being definitely drawn. They're resisting it a little bit now. With the four of swords, four of pentacles. They're kind of resisting, but it's not going to take long. They're not going to be able to resist for long. Electric eel bring your ideas to life this is someone acting on what they're being drawn to act on and learn from the past yeah told you they they, they, they learned their lesson they sure did elephant spirit number 25 which is a seven they learned their lesson they ain't never gonna do that again whatever they did they're not gonna do it again 
that is your reading hopefully it resonates with you aries thumbs me up don't forget to subscribe see you guys next week